Happy Halloween, GHS. We start our show off with Nathan Follett telling us about a trebuchet project he did for physics class with the help of Lane Gould and Taylor Jones. October 12th, Taylor Lane and I brought our trebuchet to school for a presentation for our physics class. We spent approximately three weeks building and fixing the flaws in the project. We argued a lot on the design and fabrication process, which slowed us down quite a bit, but overall it turned out nice. The idea for this came from Mr. Stowers, since he had a small trebuchet in his room. We were also interested in the idea of extra credit. We encountered a lot of obstacles that we had to fix at the last moment, but luckily the overall launch was a success. We launched 10 pumpkins plus 20 or so other objects. The pumpkins were able to reach a maximum of about 70 meters while the other objects fell just a little bit short of that. GIS students showed their school spirit with the annual kite flight. On October 13th, GHS PALS participated once again in the annual kite fly at the Greenville Intermediate School. We now bring you a message from Crime Stoppers. It all started on a Thursday afternoon. The baseball team was outside practicing, but they didn't realize that they left their locker room unlocked. Two girls walked into the school. They went down the hall to make sure no one was around. When the coast was clear, they walked into the locker room. First, they checked to see if there was any guys there. When there weren't, they went in and started rummaging through their lockers. They didn't notice when I walked in. I saw them stealing one of my friend's iPod and my cell phone. I was very upset. I went back to tell my coach after they ran out of the locker room. He told me to turn them in at Crime Stoppers. So I went to the library and I filmed out a Crime Stoppers form. Then I tore off the top, kept it, and put the bottom in the Crime Stoppers box. Later that day, Officer Hamilton was looking through some tips. When he found mine, it gave him a lead. So he decided to check the security cameras around the gym. Then he saw two girls sneaking into the school. When he figured out who the suspects were, he went to class and arrested them. I got my cell phone back, and my friend got his iPod. But most importantly, justice was served at GHS. Now on to Jake and Alex with nonsensical news. This just in. In an effort to godlessly humor small children who wish they could receive Halloween presents as well as Christmas, the two holidays have been consolidated into one festive day. Have a safe and happy trick or caroling. The standards and regulations at the Highland Park game will be the strictest we've seen thus far. At no point during the game besides halftime will anyone be allowed to pass out. Those prone to heavy fainting are advised to stay home. We bring you the most outraged political stunt of the year. Republican candidate Raj Vatka expressed his disapproval of current border measures by parading three elephants and a mariachi band across the Texas-Mexico border. The elephants splashed happily in the water and the band played exquisite music. Vatka, my vote does not go out to you. September marked the beginning of the state fair. Spectators were treated to a look at the smallest horse in the world. They had the opportunity to see Tiny Tim alive, 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 alive. We now finish up with GHS's most embarrassing moments. This is Parker Foote and we're at GHS asking students and teachers what their most embarrassing moment is. Come on, come on. I'm and I feel like right on my butt <laughs> and everybody just started laughing at me. I think last year when several of my freshmen uh, female students signed a petition against women's suffrage thinking that it meant to suffer rather than 
to vote since last year. And me and Sydney were walking down the hall, and somebody opened the door right into my face. 